Oh, hello everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helion today, along with... Peace and mighty Lieutenant Rick here at your service! And welcome to Showcase Sunday! <laughs> okay, that's my line, but yeah. Uh, where we'll be trying a few games for about half an hour each, some shorter if they're just not fun. Uh, <clears throat> to see if they're any good for works. streaming... Uh, yeah, <laughs> or if they just don't work. Uh, or... To see if they're any good for streaming in full some other time. And the loader in chat, this is Rayhan. <laughs> Hello to you too. You hope you're doing well today. And oh, yeah. <laughs> in the pre stream, I missed it. This is Rohan. <laughs> so I was watching a uh, video about some Lord of the Ring, old Lord of the Ring game called The Hobbit. It was released before the movie of The Hobbit. I think I know that one. That's had quite a. Yeah, well, a lot of uh, games have a, quite a speedrun uh, community around them, but that one in particular got a lot of attention, I believe, at some point. But uh, yeah, originally we were going to start with Soundfall, but yeah, last week that gave some issues. <clears throat> and well, the, the, they asked to... Uh, they, they ask uh, streamers and such to whitelist their channels on their sites to avoid copyright strikes and such, but... So I thought, probably better to just skip it. Yeah, I'll just try it out on my own some other time. So yeah, we moved on to the next game, which is Steam World Quest Hand of Gilgamesh. And yeah, we have a bit of a history with the Steam World games, huh? Like, besides uh, Heart Space Shipbreaker, I believe Steam World Dig was the first game we streamed in full. Hmm. It was? I thought it was a Wait. But you only showcased it. No, we, we streamed the entirety of stream. Uh, we, I think we did showcase it at some point, but we did also stream through the entirety of Steam World Dig One and Two. Uh, but that I... was before we saved the uh, vaults online. Oh, I don't could explain why. Like, I le remember the game you came, but are you sure we streamed them? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Not that we talked about streaming them. No, but it has been two years, so yeah. <clears throat> I also remember you talking about we should stream the, the Steam World. We should stream the Steam World games. <laughs> okay, we should we should put them on the to stream list again, yeah, so we can. <laughs> and maybe we can put this one on there as well. Yeah. Uh, hello, there in chat, Random Marco. We hope you're doing well as well. Like I said, I'm not for streaming them again, but this time actually I was putting them onto YouTube. Uh, yeah, um, I remember. Did we we did we stream the uh, remastered version of uh, Mark of the Ninja as well on um, again, or was that before uh, as well? I think it was before. We we stream an a ninja game, but on show you put it on YouTube. But this have been before YouTube. Is Probably. Oh, bloody heck! We'll over. just have to go look, but for now, let's get started with this game. Let's see, Squire, Knight, Legend, significantly harder, recommended, stable, suitable difficulty. Uh, let's go with Knight at the moment, just to see. What? Time and also, hello, Marco! Bed, son. Oh, Dad, tell me a story first, please. Oh? You want to hear another tall tale from the high seas, do you? No, not another pirate story. I want to hear about dragons and knights in shining armor. Dragons, you say? Well, then we have to go way back to the age of heroes. When our world was still young and innocent, the gods grew born and forged a heart of evil and placed it in the chest of a behemoth. A true hero was called upon, and by his hand, the corrupted heart of the monster was torn out and buried where it could do no harm. Over the years, his heroic deeds fell into obscurity. Instead, uh Heroes of fortune spread across the land like a shadow. But there was still light to be found. Our story begins with two such lights. Two friends strolling through the forest in search 
of a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, Steam will dig the doesn't take itself too seriously. Chapter one. And the knight and the alchemist. Okay. They they recently were last year released a new game again, I think. Steam World Builds, which is like sort of like a the Anno series. But a lot simpler, of course. As if sent on a mission by the ancient gods, uh, our heroes cut their way through Greenfinger's Grove. <laughs> our melee, really? <laughs> the smell of hazard and fungus hit them as they searched for the fabled peppermint popper. Will you stop narrating everything, <laughs> Copernica? <laughs> Chapter 3 in the Hero's Handbook clearly points out the importance of visualizing. Visualizing my foot, that fully illustrated book of yours is a pun written cringe fest. <laughs> hey, don't diss the book. <laughs> okay, I like these two already. And by the way, when are we eating? We should have gotten Galio up on there. Yeah, we should have taken Galio up on that breakfast offer before we left. Uh, he didn't invite us for breakfast. He, saw he, he said he'd rather eat the slowly gathering dust in his basement before joining our mushroom hunt. <laughs> and this mushroom we're hunting is important enough for you to literally pull me out of bed? You can't do real alchemy from the comforts of a bed. A few of the professors at the college actually tried that. <laughs> but the rest of them shriveled up uh, over their research in uh, musty, sun-forsaken labs. There's one professor, though, who really inspired me. She underlined the importance of actually going out in the world to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many. Today's deployment is about finding the medicinal peppermint puffer. Not only is it anti-hypertensive, hep ne hepatoprotective, and nephroprotective, it can also... Hmm, you're setting me in the mood for stew. <laughs> We are not making stew. Look, let's get let's just get going. <laughs> I know you get restless, so why don't you take the lead for a while? Okay, I I do like just the the odd mix of fantasy combined with well robots, steam powered robots at that. Atos, which came first, Starbound or this? I think it was Starbound, because they, you know, Starbound has that as well, like a, a whole species of robots that th think they are in the Middle Ages. And think yeah, they are the flesh as well, I think. <clears throat> Let's see, Marco, I only played the first SteamWorld game. That would probably be Dig 1 as well, yeah. yeah I would say, <clears throat> again, I'm, I'm forced to uh, stream them again, including this one, for... We have... A while back, talked about maybe stream some games we streamed before putting them up on YouTube. At yeah. least some of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do. The, we could have a bit of a, a Steam World marathon, like Steam World Dig One, Two, and then this one as well as Heist, which I think is third in the timeline. I have no idea where this one is supposed to be in a, any sort of timeline. If this isn't just. Well, literally a story being told. But yeah, let's see. Many objects in the world, such as the mushroom you know, patch I had, can be interacted with. Move near. Use the control shown below. Okay, enter. Yep. It's something curious. Hmm? So, I, I have seen someone else play this before, but I don't think I ever watched them finish it. I think I got distracted okay. by something else. Again. But now, seeing it here again, I... these two somehow remind me of us. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Hey, that was easy. Time enough to get these cooked up before the rooster crows. Unfortunately, these are con uh, brushwood aminitas. Uh, we are after a peppermint puffer, remember? Dang. Also, they're poisonous, so don't eat them. <laughs> Double dang. <laughs> Wait, enter? Are you 
Oh wait, oh they made the button enter. Yep. <laughs> I do get a question though, how do how do mechanoids eat <laughs> Uh, eat uh, mushrooms and so on. How would they get poisoned by it? It's like, <laughs> uh, it kind of makes sense. Like in the process before we call it the hummer, but there is something called biofuel. So yeah, yeah, it could make sense. And I guess poison wouldn't be of the trying to biofuel something that is not recommended to become biofuel. <laughs> they could probably damage, stop making a rust and whatnot. True. God, more of those pompous poses from the village. <laughs> Wait a minute. I knew the guild had some flimsy hangarounds, but you're practically rallying around in that bulky armor. <laughs> she just called me scrawny. <laughs> well, easy now. I didn't say <laughs> this armor fits perfectly. Here we go. <laughs> uh. All right. Battles are fought using punch cards. They're literally punch cards because they have the holes in them at the bottom. Oh, God. <laughs> Each turn you'll draw up you know, to six cards. These cards represent the abilities your heroes can use. You can choose up to three cards to play each turn. The cards will be lined up at the top of the screen. When you are happy with the cards you've selected, press the finish turn button. Okay. If you prefer, you can also select cards and targets by clicking on them with your mouse or right clicking to cancel. A few alternative options for interacting with your cards will be available by hovering over them in your hand, too. Let's see Heroic Strike, 11 damage, Bravado, Attack Up, and a Heal, I'm guessing. <laughs> Book Bash, really. And Mana Barrier. Okay, details. Grant one ally a damage shield equal to 20% of their maximum health. Okay. Uh, let's put that on Copernica. Oh god, I just remember something. The yeah. YouTuber who watched play this was actually around the day before or just about when I met you for the first time. Yeah. I think almost all the halfway through the game, only then he realized Armini is a woman. <laughs> I think maybe oh, I'm surprised when the, one of them called her, uh, the, uh, the man her, and he, went, he also went, wait, does that hurt her? <laughs> yeah, robots can, ban, uh, can tend to be pretty androgynous. Let's see, heroes can play up the three cards, strike, upgrade, and skill. Try cards just do what they sound like, basic uncomplicated attack to deal damage. Upgrade cards empower your heroes temporarily in some way. As your heroes use strike or upgrade cards, they build up steam pressure or SP that can be spent to play powerful skill cards. Okay. Let's see, fire pillar, flame wave. Let's see, I'm guessing each of these represents 10. So, oh, no. Hmm. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, no, the more. The reason he, he kind of got surprised was for he was streaming, streaming the game and putting it on YouTube along with his uh, now wife. Oh, okay. And he usually voiced the guys and she the women. And when they realized it, they realized, oh, she should have been voicing both. <laughs> kind okay. of deal. I, I read it wrong. That's the damage. The amount of steam <laughs> used is is shown here. Finished turn. Okay, that's a nice little aspect of it. Okay. <clears throat> and see, Marco, that was also uh, uh, that was also me when I played Evolution because there's a person named Chain and you don't realize it's a girl until you speak to them. <laughs> Let's see. Each strike or upgrade generates one SP. Shared SP. Yeah. Uh, skill cards are very versatile and powerful, but you don't. If you don't have enough SP, you can't play them at all. Manage your SP wisely. Okay, take that one out and take that one out, and just to be extra certain. <laughs> certain, certain, good. Yeah, yeah, now that I look a bit at her, uh, Armili's arms are really freaking thin. 
Don't let her hear you say that. Scrap <laughs> trash even scrap, really? Easy as mushroom pie. Hmm, pie. <laughs> We've clearly stepped into coggling turf here. Let's just try and get out in one piece, okay? You think there's more of them? Awesome! <laughs> it's like hurting a small tornado. Yeah, they brought me more and more of us, like... I, I'm the tall one, and I have a helmet. And I do... It, let's be honest, I do have a little bit of a bravado, I guess, when we play Valheim and such. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one is definitely more you, since... Well, you're on Alchemist, you both have glasses, they do also have that, and you both... Uh, uh, yeah, again. This quest sounds like a quest made for you, about mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. A hero is chanced upon a relic, a testament to the glorious battles of pasts, and some long-forgotten treasure. <laughs> More li likely Coglin loot stolen from unwary travelers. The hero's handbook declares, after beating up ruffians fair and square, the champion deserves a proper reward. <laughs> okay, what is in here? Repair vials. Okay. Recovery items can be used to heal your heroes or cure status conditions. They are a good way of dealing with challenges you can't solve with cards alone, but supplies are limited. You can find recovery items in the chest by defeating enemies or by buying them from merchants. It's a tell. Use them outside of combat by going into the items menu. Okay, your heroes are automatically revived and cured of negative status effects at the end of each battle, so some items can be used this way. Uh, okay, in battle by going into the battle menu and selecting recovery. Okay, but that counts as playing a card. All right. Okay, I can then just click on things to interact with them as well. No shoot, more of those pint-sized problem makers. Let's ambush them. The hero's handbook describes just what to do in a situation like this. There's two. <laughs> there are two whole pages with diagrams on how to startle a coglin. <laughs> And we sneak up behind them, strike first, and gain the upper hand. You must realize that regardless of which direction you come waving a sword at anyone, we will still startle them. Oh, so you say the method works on anybody? <laughs> the book is great. Let's see. Beware. Foes will engage you if they see you. Gain an upper hand against them by pressing the indicated button when they are close enough to attempt a preemptive strike. This will cause your foes to begin to battle already wounded. Yep. No. <laughs> I think it was just a little too late there. Let's see. Marco, I'm being electrocuted right now. What are you doing, Marco? Are you screwing around with the cables or something? <clears throat> or Wait. Don't leak batteries. No. Let's see, you can redraw cards in your hand up to two times each turn. Redrawing a card means that the selected card will be discarded and replaced by a new card from your deck. Discarded cards will eventually make their way back to your hand, so don't hesitate to use redraw often to get rid of unplayable cards. And remember, if you neither play nor draw anything, your, ha yeah, your hand will not change. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any steam power. Uh... They are recharging their phone. Okay. That sounds concerning if the phone is electrocuting you. Hmm. Okay, so the... <coughs> so the arms can... You know, the attacks can deal less damage than what they indicate. Uh, let's fix that with bravado. And let's strike you and there. Do, deal with you then. And minor heal as well. That's one of them gone. Yeah, with with games where you face multiple enemies, it is typically a good idea to try and focus down ones first. So you have a lot less damage incoming. Brave Buster. Okay, <laughs> let's try that one. Yeah, finish turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Almost a level. More gold and more trashium. 
Okay. Things are going slow, but they are just... They are explaining the rules and everything. So it makes sense, too. If you, don't, you just told me. Hmm? I think I know why I don't remember you streaming from the, the Steam World games. Why then? It was before I joined as the cool commentator. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, mana barriers self. And put one on our melee as well. And then we Listen, attack. I remember trying to watch his streams back then. With very... Varying results. More of just bad results. It was, it was hard to watch due to the video quality was bad. Kept offering and all that. Like, it's harder to enjoy you streaming when apparently it doesn't want to show me what you're streaming. Yeah. Let's see. Let's use this and another heroic strike. Hmm. Actually, let's not do that. Um. Recovery item and heal you up some before you get down in like a single hit or something. <laughs> Pods in the port in the bowl. Use a recovery item in battle. <laughs> okay, what does it? Let's see. Ta -ta -ta, heals by 75% magic and raise her strength by one grade for three turns. Okay, let's use it again then. And just keep bashing this thing. <laughs> 21. Or does that not stack or something? Okay, put up a defense ups thing. Brave Buster. Okay, I'm guessing that that doesn't... The attack buff doesn't stack. Strike on you. There. And another attack. That might finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I was a little bit worried at least one of them would get knocked out, but no. Levels up and everyone gets plus five health. Smoldering embers and another repair vial. Let's see, steel bracer. Equipment, you have found an accessory item. Before it'll do you any good, you must first open the pause menu and equip the accessory in the equipment menu. Select the character, yep. Basic stuff with this. Let's see, probably best if we give that to you, since you have the least amount of health. Yeah, now it's about at the same level. And then we should probably also use one of these on you. There, just to be absolutely certain. Okay, I have, I'm not sure I have a false memory or is that or something? Mm -hmm. Was there room for them to make a series, an animated series of this? Not sure. Yeah, that's why I say I'm unsure myself. I don't know if it's a false memory or actually just a rumor or something. Let's see. Look up, Renika. Even the Conglins have raised statues over Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. I mean, just pose. The pride of a great deed oozing from every cut of the chisel. I think that's just ooze. Ugh, their statues are literally everywhere. Of course they are. Gilgamesh saved our kingdom from certain doom. He defeated the huge snarling behemoth, threw out its evil heart with his bare hands, and... And you can relive that very moment in your hero's coloring handbook. <laughs> At least Coglins know how to appreciate the heroes of the past. Unlikely. They seem more. Uh, they seem uh, to be more into piles of garbage and lumber held together by yarn. Hero statues. These artfully majestic hom homages to the ancient heroes serve as a good place to rest, uh, to sit down for a while and get some rest. Approach the statue to save your progress. Interact with it to restore your hero's health. <laughs> However, be, uh, be aware that this also respawns all nearby enemies. Okay. It also just means that I wasted the recovering item. <laughs> oh no, I just realized something from the intro. Hmm? Was it a damn pecker who made a nest in the groin of that robot? 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Wait, can it be? That's it. The peppermint puffer. Don't eat Even it. more majestic than I could imagine. <laughs> Success smells like peppermint. It will be like eating breakfast, dessert, and brushing your teeth at the same time. We're not going to... You know what? Let's just grab it and get out of here. <laughs> okay, give me that. Just like the grinding gears of endless time, our heroes hold it to catch their breaths. With their peppermint perfume <laughs> fries in hand, they ready their swords. Hands off. This peppermint puffer will clean out the mold from the funnel in the old well. We're helping the entire village. You need to dry it in a whole piece to extract all... Whoa, did you hear that? You can't help it. This sweet and crisp scent make me hungry by the second. <laughs> Not that. I don't think that was your belly. Yep. Hello. <laughs> oh, darn. Well, I know what you're going to say, but imagine how much shoe we could. <laughs> oh, <this. laughs> My mushrooms. Who dare steal gum from Mrs. Rudy for mushrooms? Easy there, Chief. We're just here to pick some of these ew, unsuspecting innocent mushrooms. Ravagers. I'm not an ravager. I'm an alchemist. Gumfus doesn't care. Gumfus will teach you not to plunder nature. <laughs> okay. Yep. Elements. Damage comes in five elements. Physical, fire, frost, storm, and arcane. A card's damage type is shown on the cards. Some enemies have natural resistances or weakness to... Uh, re resistance or weakness to certain elements. And some cards can raise or lower def elemental defense. Use the right elements to maximize the damage you deal. Okay, I... I'm pretty sure we can guess that a mushroom is going to be vulnerable to fire. <laughs> and hello there, in Jet Lashers. How are you doing today? I was just thinking about today? Lash. Hello, Lashy! <laughs> uh, no, no, sh Lash, I just said Mr. Lash with your now. Anyways, welcome to Showcase Sunday, where we're just trying out some games for potential later streaming. And the first one we have here is Steam World Quest Hand of Gilgamesh. <laughs> this so we have only a few minutes a left. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's see. If oh, one of your heroes no. falls to zero health, that hero is scrapped. If all active heroes become scrapped, game over. Cards belonging to a scrap hero become useless and waste space in your hand. Make sure to redraw those cards. Okay, that's a good reason to keep your <laughs> your people alive. Scrapped heroes are repaired after each fight, but health is otherwise not restored between fights. You can heal during battle using certain cards, but that can be tricky. Just the hero statue or use recovery to restore health outside of combat. Uh, okay. I'm doing decent, uh, uh, Lash. I'm doing pretty good as well, I'd say. Okay. And yes, and you may eat this mushroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that has that is a lot of health on that thing. It has its own steam power bar, so that can't be any good for us. Okay, and it's throwing out status effects. Let's see, status conditions, some cards inflict status conditions, these are negative, uh, that's a timer, but let's finish this fight at least. Uh, for example, poison makes the victim take damage at every end of your turn. Fortunately, most conditions go away on their own after a few turns. You can review a list of all conditions from the compendium. Okay, let's pull out another Brave Buster, a Fire Pillar, and her Rogue Strike. And see if we can actually win this thing. So I get the feeling we, this might be a, a game. This might be a fight that you're designed to lose. Um, win this. The mushroom boss is not a prize. You wanna, you wanna defeat it, not win it. Okay, there. I swear, sometimes we, we uh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna count myself in this. We both blurt out sometimes the weirdest things. Yeah. Oh, that's useful, but we need more power. So, one book bash, one flame wave, and finish with another mana barrier. There we go. Okay. We should be able to take out the extras 
Yep, just easily like that. We might actually have a, a decent chance at winning this. Okay. Uh, we still have the, the bonus. Uh, let's put a mana barrier on you, then use the Brave Buster and the Book Bash. Come on, why does the mic pick up me laughing at times? <laughs> let's see, Lazarus. Man, I have a quote bot and the amount of weird shit in there from me. <laughs> Blurting out weird things is basically a job requirement for being a streamer. <laughs> yeah, it tends to happen because when your attention is split, well, your your speech tends to go to shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Actually... Did it fill its bar before, and was that when it used that call family thing? Because it has free now again. Brave Buster, and then just two heroic strikes. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> we just need to get a bit lucky with who it targets. And yeah, whenever it fills up, it calls the extras. Let's see... Can we get lucky? Uh, come on. Oh, oh, wait, I have to... Sp okay, it's one specific card that you can redraw each time. Okay, let's swap out a bravado. Okay, I was hoping for another fire wave. Um, let's see then. It, no, not him. Kill off the extras, the shroomlings. Um, use that one there. Actually, let's play it defensively. I don't want to use too many strong cards on the extras. But yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards a hard yes for this game. Poison again. Yeah, it ha but I remember it's funny as a little story. I forgot most of it too. Most of the time I was off watching and kind of watching it before going to sleep. You know, when you have like a off tired and all that. Or had it play in the background while role playing and all that, so. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> I have. I probably will have very hard time to do any spoilers. That's it. <laughs> I'm better remembering the thing. <laughs> Remember and what's it's... good. Okay, next turn we should be able to take it out. Especially if we get another Brave Buster. It is buffing its attack quite a bit, if no stack. Okay. Yep, Brave Buster. And that's that. Looks like they're getting that too all the same. Grow locally, save the environment, defeat Gumfus. Gumfus. Well done, uh, Neil. Now you get your very big portion of a mushroom stew. <laughs> ah, didn't even break a sweat. I'll be accepted in the guild in no time. I let you tag along to the forest and you turn it into a freaking fight club. Hey, you wanted to experience nature hands-on, right? If we, I say we stuff our bags full of mushroom and get back to the village. <laughs> uh, the things I do for learning. Okay. Oh, we, seems we missed something. Okay. But let's just skip through the last, next few bits. Yeah, Hello. Okay. Yeah, there. Okay. Quit. Yeah, this one is going heavily into the yes category. Yeah. Question would be main quest or side quest? Good point. Yeah, we'll have to look up how long it typically takes to get through. But for the meantime, yeah, for the let's move on to the next game. 
for the one we just play, I think it's a bit longer. Probably. It is It is one of those Slade Aspire type uh, card combat games. And... Okay, the screen capture is freaking out a little bit. There we go. So uh, those wait, do I tend to realized... take a bit of time. It... Is it OBS I see down there? Hmm? Hello, me? Well, uh... yeah, I see Double Captain's Cup. Did it mess with the wheels? Or has it been that since we started the stream? It's... Uh, if you look on Discord, it's... Uh, okay, I think I there's something going on. There's a bit of a border with the windowed projector for some reason, but there shouldn't be a second uh, cup or something. Uh, okay, should have fixed that. Uh, I can see two captain. There we go, now it's fixed, I think. Okay. So it was like it took a, 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 a copy the lowest slice of us, they put it below us, along with the OBS. Let's see uh, how weird. I can already tell that I'm going to need to lower the graphics a bit. Yeah, the fact for that you I'm going are... stop motion. Why is it affecting me? Let's see. Uh. No, not ultra. Low. Yes, apply. Okay, Thanks hopefully brigade. that'll do better. But yeah, this uh, is Strange oh. Brigades made by Rebellion, who also made the Sniper Elite games. Oh no! I know this game! <laughs> okay. Safely back Worst in the skies above ever. Egypt, the Strange Brigade ponder their next move. Where are we off to now? Too much to warp it's back to Blighty. Eh? Back to Blighty, the cheek of it! I'm afraid not, Gracie. The existence of the soul cage object you found means the techie is already more powerful than we yeah. could have. Okay. <clears throat> that started at a later level and not the start. But yeah, this game is a bit like Left 4 Dead, but a bit more. a lot more. Actually, both games are rather linear. This one is a bit more fantastical with everything, so. Let's see. But this one comes with uh, a narrator as well. <laughs> uh, let's see, game setup, campaign. Let's see, which one was the first one again? I think it was... Uh, can I start a new campaign? Let me pause and reset the timer. Let's see, campaign. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'll just have to select them. You're not gonna maybe give flu? Yeah, I think this is the first level. So, let's see, we have set up. You can choose a weapon, sidearm, grenades. You can choose between three different characters Frank Fairburn, <laughs> Professor Archimedes de Quincy, Gracie Baithwaite, and N Nalongu Rashida. Let's go with this Professor guy. De Quincy, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is very 20s, 30s style. The Strange Brigade, on their way to devil knows where, at the start of yet another thrilling yarn of death-defying deading do. Egypt again, eh? No rest for the wicked. Evil never rests, so no can we. Just as long as it goes better than that mess at Patagonia. Patagonia, eh? How intriguing. I wonder what... Hush, Alia. Here's your ladyship. Thank you, Gracie. Yes. Egypt again, Professor de Quincy. And this is why. Egypt. Land of ancient secrets and mummified mysteries. Veronica Brownridge. Some of you probably owe your lives to the valuable undercover work she does for the department. Veronica, an invaluable contributor to the brigade's efforts. I lost yeah, narrated and that doesn't to shut up. The expedition of Sir Edgar Harbin, a wealthy amateur Egyptologist, searching for the legendary tomb of Seteki. Seteki? A black-hearted fiend. Yes. The infamous witch queen of ancient Egypt. Her final resting place has been lost for millennia. Miss Brownridge's task was to ensure it remained so, but her last communication indicated that Harbin 
had found the tomb and was about to open it. We haven't heard from her since and must now fear the worst. Oh dear, oh dear. Prepare yourselves, Brigade. Secure the dig site and find the tomb. If Harbin has indeed opened it and freed the thing imprisoned inside, then who knows what horrors you will soon be facing. A plucky brigade agent missing, and some damn fool possibly setting free an ancient evil. Time to call on the services of the Strange Brigade. <laughs> yeah, this game was on sale a few months back for like three bucks or so, so I just picked it up. <laughs> Yeah, like, I saw some of you just try it out, but not make full seals of it. I don't know yeah. if it was successful or not. What the heck? Yeah, that was the achievement oh, pop-up thing. What thrilling tales and awe-inspiring adventures await our heroes today. Hmm. Honestly, I should probably add a button hey, for that to turn it off and on. There's work here to be done. Hmm. I've read this chap Harbin's work, utter balderdash from start to finish. Just our luck to have to clear up his place. Okay, this is... It's set on low, but I can notice some stutter on the stream game yeah, on side. Yeah, it would love the heck of Is this the end for our heroes? <laughs> ah, success! Well played! Uh, let's give it some time at least still. And let's see. Yeah, if if we walk One around direction. long enough, our, the characters start running to speed things along a bit. The way he runs. <laughs> Bridge out. This awkward obstacle will have to be overcome some other way. <laughs> let's see. Yep. Yeah, the Lasher is nice steampunk 70s, 80s style. Uh, yeah, it does look like it's struggling a bit. Yeah, that is going to be a big point against this game. Magical yeah. muggies. What tantalizing treasures are they hiding? Uh, I would not be surprised if these indeed can take off his... lives won't save that beast. People probably had fun. Like, obviously, if you look at the worst premiere, I really had a lot of fun. But I would not be surprised to think that held it back was... This or something else. Yeah. Oh, oh. What have we here? Like, there's nothing wrong with the concept. Like, there's full potential here. Wood, the ancient nemesis of all adventurers. <laughs> How will our heroes ever hope to bypass such a thing? What? <laughs> By shooting it. Strange brigade. There's adventure to be had. Again. The concept and all that is good, but the concept will not really work if, the, oh if there's something wrong with the What's engine. This? Yeah, it's, I think it's less wrong with and more that it requires a lot more than it probably should. Oh, nefarious necromancy! Yeah. What horrific hocus pocus summons these cadaverous creations back to loathsome life? <laughs> it rises up for the occasion. Cadavers with cognition. What has Harbin stumbled upon here? And yeah, these are going to be the most common enemies. This rifle does take them out in one shot, though. There we go. Especially if I get some headshots with it. What the? Okay, more go. Get a new cable or phone. For if it, your phone makes you pass out, you need a new phone or a new charging cable. It's it. So I return from my short slum with electricity running through my body. Yep. <laughs> Don't touch it then if it's get if it's electrocuting you. Yeah, no, now you didn't see why I was uh, you was using that tone. Concern for Marco here. So yeah, I'm not scolding Marco, I just Well Yeah, I don't I want him getting hurt again here. Yeah. Okay. The, the... There's a reason to shoot those cat statues. If you shoot all of them in a level, it'll open a door at the end. And yeah, the gold you can gather up for upgrades and such. And for opening certain chests that will have very strong weapons. Yep. The Quincy oh, Part 2. Good. A nice bit of... What's this? 
Treasure yep. trapped behind iron bars? Surely our heroes can liberate it if they look for another way in. <laughs> Hello, that looks rather interesting. A locked gate? An abandoned camp? The plot thickens. <laughs> Okay, three symbols, three buttons. Let's see. Marco, I made. Okay, that explains a lot. So go, go get yourself a fucking actual uh, charger, Marco. More ammo. Ammo refill. Okay, these are coffee guy. Those are for respawns, I believe. And let's see, we can change up our weapons Fantastic. around here. Uh, we can even upgrade it with a relic or two, but we don't have any of those lying around at the moment. Let's see. Can swap to our sidearm with one, two to the main gun. Yeah, sidearms have infinite ammo. Well, I used to do a lot of these, so they, they probably like made you to do not meet the seals on it. It's one of those games that you... That you can play single player on it, but it's kind of supposed Perhaps to be meant to play multiplayer. Perhaps the door and those shimmering switches warrant further investigation. Let's see, circle, rabbits, and then a cup of sorts. And yeah, let's be honest, people. Special and glory. glory! I can think of a few good uses for these razor sharp rotaries. Right. Around the time this came out, there was only a few people uh, YouTube the studio that would be able to do full people co op. Yeah. Regular, but it was, it's not easy to plan. <laughs> Okay. Oh, amulet charged. Yeah, those orbs you collect for a special ability. Uh, let's see. This will Refill. Nope. A survivor. No longer. I fear for our dear Miss Brownie. If she escaped, it wasn't on one of those boats. Yes, yes, yes. Take that, you blighters. Yep, and that's what this special does. It turns them into chickens. On the menu tonight. Magic chicken, that's what. <laughs> okay, open that up. Treasures lie within this cryptic <laughs> chest. You're in Sataki's Legend 1. This is all about. Uh, I should really, uh, say that, that it, it probably could, would probably, was probably still popular even if there was not mean YouTubers or streamers streaming it or making videos on it. But if there's something that usually have a lot of videos, usually means it's usually popular. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah, see. Usually. Let's see. I've been through this level before, but I'm blanking a bit on how to actually continue. There's these things here. Uh, oh, well yeah. spotted. Yes, looks like you're on the right. Huzzah! Success. Good show. <laughs> okay. Are these symbols hidden around here somewhere then, or... Let me try again. Or do I need to move them around or something? Hmm. Okay, that's two failed tries. Um, okay, I'm not really getting the uh, one with... Oh, oh, it's the order. There. There. And there. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure this game uses the very same combat system as a Sniper Elite. You just spawned it out of nowhere. Okay. 
An obscure find, to be sure, but well worth the effort. An ancient antiquity. A new addition for the Brigade private collection, methinks. Okay, let's oh, move God. on. But again, I like the game's concept and all that, but I will probably end up saying no. Look at the size of these blighters. Let's hope some swift gunplay could cut them down to size. As soon as the stinger crawled forth into the action. Abnormal erectus. This one's further study. You don't need to hit that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, th this might uh, do better if we have some other people to play it with, and probably need to have a second computer set up for the streaming itself, so that the, the computer, this computer, can focus fully on rendering the game. Yeah, for and then again, we will need the other people, and uh, again, it may. I would not be surprised if it actually demands more than it should uh, have and all that. Ah. There. The cat once, once. It, that log looks jolly useful. See, even Lash agrees with me here, Kanda. Yes. And yeah, there's traps all over the place that you can set up. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Push that one over its shoulder. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I like the theme and style, but I don't think the gameplay be for me. I was thinking of picking it up out of curiosity, and then I saw the price tag and decided no. Let's see. Marco, this is the kind of game I would play. Yeah, everyone has their own preferences and such, and this obviously, well, obviously any game would be a lot more interesting with friends and such. But I do know that this game I mean, does go, or, or at least once, has gone on sale for an extreme discount. A key. I wonder what secrets this crafty little devil will unlock. Yeah, for it, it is all a pricey game, ain't it? Yeah, I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks, but I, again, I got it on a real cheap with the sale. Uh, it's not too bad, considering some games go up for higher nowadays. Yep. With a lot of people trying to make 60 the, you know, the, the average price. Yeah. And of course there is more variation in the game as you continue on. Bear burn part one. Oh, how lovely. You, hello. Bye bye. Oh god. <laughs> I, I think Marco is a merchant with the narrator. <laughs> Okay, let's put this here. But yeah. Way ahead open. Onwards, Brigade. There's murderous mysteries and sinister secrets to be uncovered here. <laughs> yeah, the narrator is definitely a plus point. And there will be more enemies and such as you can see through the levels, like here. Crikey! Who the devil's throwing spears about? Oh no! Armored attackers! Watch out, strange brigade! Temple Guard, spear throwing sharpshooters aiming for the kill. By Joe, someone certainly doesn't want our heroes reaching that dig site. Oh, so they, is it crikey? Yep. I thought that was an Australian thing. <laughs> okay, getting a little bit busy here. And yes, you you are not seeing things despite no, not despite and the scorpions are combat rollers. <laughs> the scorpions Wait, have been playing Dark Souls. What? I missed that part. I know they were rolling about there. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. See. Also, I learned something about Scorpius recently. No. Yes, 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 yes. Don't do this to Scorpions. Don't do this. I, if you remove the stinger, I just let, let them go. Yeah, they're going to starve. They will die. They will die of constip constipation. <laughs> so apparently, uh, give me a guess the. Rear end is located by the stinger. Probably then. 
Let's see. So yeah. Actually, yeah, just uh, just avoid scorpions altogether. Perhaps using yeah. your amulet will clear the way forward. Okay. And if you need to handle scorpion, let the, let the expert handle it. Or be it's, yeah, just avoid if possible. Yeah. By the River Nile! What paranormal padlock have our heroes managed to stumble upon here? This is quite the sinister development. Let's see, Marco, what is the name of this game? Strange Brigades. And another new enemy. And what's this? Yet more undead corpses rising to the occasion, and the blighters are wearing armor. How jolly on sporting of them. Horrifying armored cadaver, and that went that went by way too fast to read. But yeah, yeah just a more armored version. Still goes down with one hand shot with to this thing. Can I line up a du Okay, that almost lined up a double headshot there. Okay. Okay, gotta keep an eye on that thing. Yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm think it's pretty clear what their critical spot is. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Of well, even if you do, you... Even, uh, uh, yeah. But you need to stay there. If that scorpion has escaped, he will die anyway. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Time for chicken salsa. <laughs> Wait. You the one turned up to chickens? Yep, that's the special of the amulet I have equipped. You can change those around as well. I think I missed that by blinking earlier. I was wondering if it was a chicken joke. You know, out of ammo, it seems. Again, There's with the typically a creep somewhere. At the moment, I would not be surprised if I even missed the damn chicken. Ah, there we go. Extra ammo. Good shot. <laughs> Okay, that's not going to catch many of them, but it's still catching some of them. Okay. Yeah, for some reason the standard grenade button is shift. And of course, like there's how there's different weapons, there's different grenades as well. The one I have equipped is a basically a round Molotov cocktail, I believe. And it's on a recharge, so yeah, no need to go collecting the grenades from the environment or such. And yeah, if it wasn't obvious already, One this rifle has over penetration. All thanks to the splendid efforts of the Strange Brigade. So yeah, you can get multiple targets with one shot with this thing. Oh, oh yes. Oh, okay, now I see why I'm thinking about Mechanicus when I see this. I've been playing Mechanicus and I'm easily Incoming raiding Necron tubes. <laughs> Think fast, Brigade. You see the comparison yourself? Yeah, because they practically have, are, they are practically walking corpses as well. Or employees, some of them. Uh, uh... Miss. Are you talking about the flayed ones? Mm. Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, 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 they can mind control people with something, but otherwise... Oh god, so you don't, we don't see nothing like the flayed ones here that just <laughs> wears the skins of people. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Okay, one thing you do have to be a bit careful with is your health. But you can carry around... Uh, oh, that's melee. Just the thing I uh, what was the heal button again? No. Nope. Uh, uh, extra chicken. Yep. <laughs> what was the heal button again? Uh, not H. Oh, well. Okay, if there, there's no easy dedicated heal button, that's probably a uh, concern yeah, they're, they're, right away. 
There is, I just don't remember what the button was, and it's not really being displayed next to the health there. But yeah, you can pick up health potions. Ooh, hello. But you can only carry around one. And they are limited in the area and such. Of course they are. And I, I hope there is a setting that allows you to see which bottom is which. But in these kind of games, I would I prefer that to actually be an icon like for each of the skills and all that. <laughs> Let's see, configure, reload, melee, amulet attack, drink potion, five. Okay. I feel better already. Yeah. There. You just try to force a joke or something? Our heroes arrive at you the think so. But yet, there's still no sign of their quarry. You reached the camp? Excellent. We need to know if Harbin's found and opened that tomb. Supplies! It doesn't look like anyone's left alive. That damn fool Harbin and his bumbling lust for glory. <laughs> okay, let's see. Three minutes left. Let's see if we can finish the level in that time, actually. I doubt it. Well, there's the lock, but how to get the key? Best get looking, Brigade. Uh, this is here. He yoked about housing sucked. <laughs> you, Wait. Hello. Can you? Wait, he will pause the game to shake this sick. Oh, come on. <laughs> You can check these. All nicely lined up. Okay, are they just going to keep on spawning? Actually, no, I think at a certain point they will stop spawning. And let's see, that's another one of those puzzles. We just need to find a code somewhere. Also... Too far away, I'm guessing. Yeah, you, you can't attack from as far in this game as you can in Sniper Elite. More of these beggars popping up. Someone clearly doesn't want our heroes getting inside this tomb. There we go. <laughs> it's always nice when you can just line up a shot and get at least two targets, huh? Yep. <laughs> or more. There we go. Yep. I thought it was an explosive barrel for a sec. And yeah, I don't think regenerating health is a thing in this game. Or at least I don't remember it being one. Yeah. Yeah, still hit it, but didn't take it out. Okay. <laughs> Attempt the jump scare. <laughs> Another attempt. Oop. Hey, Let me take that. Yes, jump scare yet? Well spotted. Nope. Hello. Yep. <laughs> Fucker ducks right as. <laughs> Let's oh, see, Marco. Yeah, yeah. This could really don't like this game. That. I, I gotta suspect that in pixelation talk, such at times we depend on the, the game's FPS requirement. Like, Cleo was flawless, no pixelation whatever. Yep. But that was also a 2D uh, game, and those do tend to be a lot uh, easier to run. Yeah. I can hear a scorpion. Tend to be. But this game. Yeah, this could not happen. <laughs> and that was the timer, so let's call it on this one then. Holy, yeah, it's good. If I could not even read the chat to see your face anymore at this point. <laughs> okay, so if anything, I would put this one on a uh, <clears throat> on multiplayer days if anyone else were to join, but. I'd probably need to run this through a second computer uh, <laughs> just to avoid uh, slowdown and such. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a hesitant, maybe, even. Okay. 
On to the next game, Streets of Rage 4. See, Marco, I do believe I have not told you about my discovery at a yard sale. Uh, what did you find then, Marco? Yeah, let's see, a bit back from uh, Lash. Speaking as someone with an impeccably sarcastic British accent, I always appreciate this kind of hammed up Britishness. <laughs> now, Crikey was used by the British for a very long time, too. Okay. All right. Lizard Cube, aka uh, Drakir's Minecraft Sona. Oh, good gods. <laughs> Blaze Fielding. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I think I've seen you in Hicks play this. Yep. <laughs> Not um, on yes. stream, though. <laughs> streets of Wage. Streets of Wage. Streets of Rage, <laughs> not Streets of Wage. That, that would be a funny parody, though. Just <laughs> a game where you play an office worker beating up people on the, <laughs> on the streets to get their fucking paycheck. <laughs> Good gods. Okay. Let's start a new game, and let's do it on easy. Let's see, for those who love every part of beat-em-ups except getting beat up. <laughs> okay, no hand hand-holding, just a good honest challenge. Uh, bare knuckle brawl. Let's get crazy, expect way more bad guys in this time than not pulling any punches. Uh, this difficulty isn't even remotely fair, recommended for Streets of Rage maniacs only, and then there's an even... <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> and it looks like Marco knows and likes this one. Let's go with easy. And let's see, there's three locked characters here, Shiva, Max, and Estel. Let's go with the basic yeah. Axel. I, I, I don't know much about the Streets of Rage series. Timer starts. Ten years have passed since the fall of Mr. X and his syndicate. The city has been at peace. Until now. The new crime, crime empire has risen, corrupting everything good in the city. It is rumored to be led by Mr. X's own children, the White Twins. Former detectives Axel Stone and Blaze Fielding join forces with their old friend's daughter, Cherry Hunter, along with Floyd Araya, an apprentice of the brilliant Dr. Zan. Together, these four vigilantes stand against the White Syndicate on the streets of rage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I know a little about the Streets of Rage series, but I do know that it has been going for quite some time, and I believe it was a big ass time since the uh, since Streets of Rage three and this game. <laughs> Okay, standards, move around, jump, attack. And Y is for specials, or some... Let's see, is that draining anything? I can see a number next to Axel's head, but that's probably lives as well. Okay, what sort of street are we raging through here? <laughs> no knives in this wall, in this street fight. They are holding the knives rather awkwardly. <laughs> yep. And you can pick it up, I think. Probably. Uh, there. That's it. Okay, we'd be. Yep. A bit awkward. <laughs> okay, we can throw it. Getting called, so give me a moment. Pausing. Okay, finally back. Yeah. You jump scared me. One, two, eight. Yeah, and all I really needed was someone to hold the bloody ladder to fix a hole in the rain gutters. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, bloody heck you. And of course, the moment, <laughs> the moment we're finishing with it, it starts a bloody hail. 
Okay, I'll need to cut that out, and we might need to do one game less then, so we don't overdo things too much. <clears throat> uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, that was about 50 minutes or so. Okay, resume. Okay, uh, I also should resume the timer. There. Okay. Uh, G signal, okay. Like I know the I know these games have a habit of giving rather stupid names to characters and <laughs> Hello, were you looking for the team NT? Or are you cosplaying? Okay. This is really like I can get a uh, the game the in this names and stuff, but this, like like a frog and stuff, but all the all of the same ones are called the same name, Donovan. Yeah. Or Casey, like that. It, I was sad to say I'm kind of against it. That's just awkward. Like it, that trend where it was popular to almost show you all your underwear when the pants were almost halfway down. Okay, getting tired of this guy with the, with the. The pipe. Let's give me that. Yep. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> Let's see. The enemy names have been taken straight from the old Streets of Raid games, it seems. I wouldn't be able to tell since, like I said, I don't really know much about this series. Other than that, it's been going for quite some time. Like, I think the original came out somewhere in the 90s. Or I actually thought Street of Rage was an indie game that uh, was inspired by those old uh, the, uh, brawler games uh, that you went, went around, like New Turtles and such, but I did not know mm. it was part of the actual generation to do it first. Give me that. And apparently, Marco has got himself a uh, Sega Dreamcast. Okay. Let's see. Da -da -da. I used to own one of the two of them, Marco. I've played all of them, but it's been quite some time. Uh, what do you think of the four at the end of the titles for the here? <laughs> also, some, someone's getting uh, losing their insurance. Well, I, I just thought that this uh, this was some indie game developers that had been able to successfully make full games in a short period of time. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, those. <laughs> Those are long boots. For a second, I thought that was a place selling fucking legs. Also, <laughs> uh, we can beat on the car like it's freaking Street Fighter. I think those are legs. Uh, those might be. A lot of those and, are leggings or prosthetic legs. And leggings, I think. Drake Secret from the old Mega Drive. Okay. It's, yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea how to do most attacks with this, so it's okay, it's a back attack. But other than that, most of the other buttons don't seem to do much. Okay, I know that Hex knows how to play this game quite well. Oh hello. <laughs> he jump scared them and I jump scared him. Where did he pull that out of? I'll take that. that oh, no, I won't. It's the name, apparently. Uh, it, 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 are, they, it, are they electrokinetic or something? Because it looked like they summoned the weapons to him. Is it magnetism? There we go. Mm-hmm, let's see, nope, this is a direct sequel to the old Mega Drive trilogy, okay. Mega Drive, that's, that's long ass ago, 20, 30 years almost. Yeah. Damn it, he did what I was going to do. Yep, <laughs> that. And yes, the number is the amount of lives. Okay, even on the easy, I'm getting my freaking ass handed to me for most of this. I think one of those dev screws have been used for memes. 
would not be surprised. Okay, very friend. Street Rage 3 released in 1994. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is... <laughs> oh, 20... Some 28, 29 years since... <laughs> Uh, later that this game released, Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Streets of Rage uh, 4 came out in 2020, so 26 years later. Yeah, that that is a big ass different. That's a big ass delay. Can, yeah. Is it just me, or does do some of the dead screens sound like uh, the one typically used for Snake or something from Sol uh, from Metal Gear? Yeah. Talking Maybe. about snakes. The snake or electric eel, whatever. Uh, is a snake. Yeah. Okay, give me that. Yep. Okay, give me the stick, not the snake. It's Oop. a pipe. <laughs> okay, I, I don't really see how you're supposed to evade attacks like that, because for me, your movement speed is so freaking low that it's you need to move before the attack even starts or something. Like, I've, nev I've never played many beat-em-ups, so I've never been good with them, so maybe I'm just completely missing something. But, yeah, I'm not seeing any way to possibly run or so. Like, the only way I can see them for somewhat decent movement is by jumping like this. Motherfucker went with a pipe. Thank you. There. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, double tapping isn't doing that. But though apparently I can do a sort of uppercut like that by double tapping and then hitting X. Okay, that gives me some reach. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> when I'm even having difficulty on easy in this game, yeah, that tells you that I'm not good with these games. Oh dear. Okay. Rank C. Mm -hmm. Now, Diva, tell us what's going on in, with the city. This new organization, they're too powerful. They control everything and everyone. There's one man who could help you, the Grand Master of Chinatown. He used to be friend, a friend of theirs. Looks like it's too late, though. He already found you. Good. Flash banged. Let's see, Marco, more of a fighting game fan. I do enjoy beat em up, though. So. Okay. Yep. Well, they beat us up and threw us into the freaking holding cell. Yeah, if I remember things correctly, the big thing with these types of games is crowd control. <laughs> okay, knock, knock. Are there other, uh, oh, they'll, they'll even fight each other. Okay. Yep. <laughs> nice little detail. Yep. Oh, he's the re name was Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go, just pick a fight with both sides. Uh That's... Is the G supposed to stand for green or something? Green signal? It, it, uh, now. It immediately for the phaser, huh? Barney. Barney. Is that a Half-Life reference? Because one of the main characters there is called Barney. No idea. Eh, no, you don't. Uh, yes, you do. Uh, uh, <laughs> yourself from a struggle or from a grab okay we may be a third party here but they still double teamed me there this threw me into the attack of another really there's an arcade here okay uh, let's see yeah there's also yellow jacketed versions of those called Y signal so yeah it's <laughs> the it's just the color. Now let's beat up on Dick. <laughs> or get beat up by Dick. We'll get dicked over. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Grab seem to oh, hello. Grab seem to work when you just get really close and then attack. Let's see, how do we deal with you, Mur Murphy? <laughs> Robocop. Let's see, and yes, they're straight from the old Streets of Rage games. Okay, so the, the references were already there way before. <laughs> well, they'll have to rebuild him to back together. <laughs> they do have the technology, though. Oh, gods. This entire place is just one big brawl. Yeah, gentlemen, gentlemen, I'll beat you both up. <laughs> no need to argue over who wins. <laughs> Get through the shields. No, you are not taking advantage of that. I thought I saw the water cooler move earlier. Uh, some, I think someone's playing Minesweeper on the computer there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, the shields regenerate if you don't break them quick enough. Ow, ow. <laughs> dick going for the dick punch. But yeah, I I just don't get fighting games like this much because it just seems more like an exchange of you, know, you hit them, they hit you, and just uh, rock and fuck and sick, yeah, sucking robots. Why were the uh, bags of money in there? Yeah, corrupt police. Let's see. Uh, Marco, Barney is technically a guy who's been cloned a bunch of times to protect the Black Mesa Foundation, so it could be a Half-Life reference. Don't ask me how I know this. I just play Half-Life. <laughs> I didn't know they be cloning. Yeah, I don't think he means literally. There. That was a new one, I think. Yep. Okay, you two have fun. But I'll still get mixed in. <laughs> yep. okay, it, I think you might be able to pick it up and throw it. The water cooler. Maybe. Let's see if we can do that with another one. But now we just throw a taser like a throwing dart. I'd say after this bit, we call it on this one. Yeah, then we can take a quick on the next game. So we finally done four games. 
Yeah, mostly we've been doing five or six lately. Yeah. Let's see, Lazarus, uh, oh yeah, I'm really bad at games like this, but I do love how faithful they stay to the original style. That, that is definitely, that is definitely a point you can give the developers. They didn't, they, they certainly didn't half arse things. Marco, or I mean, literally their tech is sort of as it does that. I mean, how do you think the Rapture happened if not with their advanced tech? Hello, Commissioner. Do we call you Gordon or... Or Smackdown? Wait, is B the grab button or something? It's for grabbing stuff. Ooh. And he just punched out his own window. Ooh. And we almost chucked him out of said window. <laughs> Yep, but they just get chucked like a, <laughs> a bad case. Bow. <laughs> okay, we need to commission you a cast. A full body one, preferably. Yep. Yep, yep. Ow. Go <laughs> best to counter his attack there. Yep. Nah. Of course, there's freaking golf clubs here. Now you notice them. Yep. <laughs> Wait. Ah. You, can, you, can, you, can, you can take the club. Four. <laughs> five, oh. six, seven. Ow. Eight. Nine. There we go. <laughs> Kill, would you kindly? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but yeah, even though if I'm not good at this game, I do recognize when a game ha is made well. Yeah, I'm sure we wouldn't stream this. <laughs> like, it definitely has a story, though. If you make... The concern would be if Helion could handle playing it. Yeah, and, mo and most of it would just be just a, a variant of Rock'em Sock'em robots. Like, just pu we punch them, they punch us, and back and forth. It would not be the most exhilarating of gameplay. Now, is this going to... Okay, why uh, is this not I'm... moving into this place? I'll just move it manually then. Okay. Uh, yeah, Streets of Rogue, which, well, is getting a sequel, or already has one. I think it's okay. still in development. Okay, this one is definitely the indie parody of uh, Street of Rage. Yeah, <laughs> makes it kind of thing to put it right after. <laughs> Let's see, Lazarus, he killed the boss with a golf club. The Bioshock reference was inevitable. <laughs> Speaking of, we, we really should find a spot to put the Bioshock games, like one, two, Maybe Infinite? Like, I know a lot of people ha really dislike Infinite for some reason, but I, th you know, or with the story getting confusing or something, but I was able to follow along with it mostly. Okay. Uh, yeah, this game, it is basic. It's not for, it's not a, the name is a parody of Streets of Rage, but it plays completely different. So let's go to the home base. Yeah, for one, this thing is, well, top-down. And let's see, let's just go to the tutorial just to get caught up with everything. Yeah, start tutorial. Start the timer. Let's see, Streets of Rage, no, Streets of Rogue 2 is in early access. It Once home to peace and prosperity, the city has fallen into the hands of a ruthless and dictatorial mayor. Elected on vague promises of lower taxes and more beer, his true colors began to show immediately upon his in inauguration. The mayor's first ex ex executive orders were a massive raise on taxes and a one-time confiscation of all alcoholic beverages. He stated that the confiscation was so he could throw the mother of all ragers for his constituents. But in reality, there was more or only like one keg and a bag of tortilla chips. It was super lame. He used the money and extra boost to fund the private army of goons, happy to carry out his every nefarious bidding. 
before long the city had fallen into a state of chaos, but there is still hope. A secretive organization known only as the Resistance has been formed to fight back against the mayor's tyrannical leadership. Well, that is where our tale begins. It's time to embark on your journey into the... Streets of Rogue. <laughs> yeah, uh, so Malcolm made an interesting typo. Streets of Rouge. <laughs> Streets of Rouge. <laughs> that would be an interesting game. <laughs> yeah, every character is just rouged about. <laughs> Let's see, Marco. This reminds me of a thing that happened in the past. Oh. Let's see. So you want to join the resistance, eh? Well, there's something you should know. Our standards for entry are extremely high. It offer words of encouragement, but I seriously doubt you're going to get very far. Uh, uh, really, holy crap, you did it, Rod. Now uh, open that door by pressing the interact button E. <laughs> no way, no way. This is the farthest anyone's gotten in a long time. I left a little something for you in that chat. Can you figure out what to do next? Interact. Take all. <laughs> well, oh my god, but, but there is no way that you could possibly figure out what to do with that thing. Uh... Yeah, key, or no lock pick. Pick the lock. <laughs> holy crap, holy, holy crap. <laughs> well, I guess we're now the resistance leader. <laughs> oh no, he spontaneously exploded. I'm so sorry you had to see that. On the plus side, you must be doing pretty well so far for him to get that excited. <laughs> and he just cannot hide it. Because he is spread all over the floor. He had a lot of emotional problems. Yeah, as you can tell, the tongue is so far in the cheek with this game, it's poking right through and somehow wrapped around the head to poke through the other cheek. Anyways, oh, no use moping around. I'll take it for free. Mental image. <laughs> I'm teleporting you some money. Use it to buy a hacking tool from our staff uh, shopkeeper. I'll just sort of speak to you there. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Okay, hacking tool, single-use device that will hack into any computer remotely. Thanks. Access your inventory by pressing Q, then right-click the hacking tool, select it, and left-click the computer. Yep. There, and there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this game. It, it is, I believe, considered a, an immersive sim to a certain degree. In that, well, you can fuck around with things and just start absolute chain reactions. Yeah, let's see, Marco, where people have to confiscate alcohol. Oh, right, prohibition, and now that went perfectly well, huh? Okay, open locked doors, sweet email. That would be rude, really. I'm going to send you on a little trial mission. To see what it is, press tab. Let's see, destroy the generator. Let's see. Someone is on guard during the building past this fence. To see more info hold on him, hold space. Let's see. A bouncer, hostile, and resist damage small. Hostile. It looks like he won't be too happy to see you. And by the way, if someone's name is Yellow, it means they own the property. I'm teleporting you a wall bypasser. Try using it from your toolbar. Press the number key that corresponds to its slot. Okay. Oof. <clears throat> Typically, a red door means people don't want you in there. Okay. Meet our staff bouncer. He'll be playing the part of bad guy, but he's been inst instructed not to fight back under any circumstances. Hello, nice to make your acquaintance. Rookie, feel free to wail on him as hard as you can. He's a big guy, he can take it. Um, excuse me, I don't recall agreeing to this. <laughs> When you signed your resistance paperwork, perhaps you can recall you'll recall section 7C, which states members are subject to any and all resistance leaders' as illogical, dangerous, and or sadistic whims. Look, you have no right to allow some random guy off the street to take shots at me for the sake of some what do you call it? Tutorial. We can do whatever we want uh, to you. We're the ones in charge. You know it is the same sort of ridiculous authoritarian crap that the mayor pulls. Stop being a whip, you'll be fine. We gave you that sweet hard hat, remember? Fair enough. <laughs> Let's see, now grab the weapon and give him a good whack. What weapon? Oh, the one outside. The fellow on the floor ground. <laughs> grab that tranquilizer. <laughs> you know how hard it is to find good help. 
Uh, by the way, do you see that blue meter at the top of your screen? You'll get uh, skill points, XP for things like murdering and lockpicking. Let's I'm grab that key. key. Uh, yeah, we have a leveling system. Use the key. Now walk into that red sensor. It's totally safe and not harmful at all. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist. That never gets old. I hope you're okay. Take this bacon cheeseburger. You can quickly... Uh, uh, did you not learn from what happened to... Yep, yep. You can use your health items by pressing F. There. Here's something you can use to deal with the lasers a bit more safely. Yep, of course it's lasers? a rock. Lasers? Let's see. Mouse wheel to select weapons. There we go. I'm going to give you a really cool special ability that you can use to see he opened this door. To use it, press the right mouse button. Um, hey, yeah. What's laser in Dutch? Uh, same, actually. Let's All right, see. For, you said laser accidentally earlier. <laughs> yeah, okay. but miss, miss. That's why I asked if, in case you mixed the languages up or something. Special ability cry profusely. Causes you to cry like a little baby, serves no purpose except to embarrass you. Okay, okay, but seriously, here's a key. Oh, oops, I just accidentally teleported it to the elevator where you first came in. Open your missions tab, uh, screen with tab, but then click on the entrance to teleport. There. As you grab the key, you can quick teleport by pressing left control. Under normal circumstances, this will teleport you to important locations. Okay. Now destroy the generator to complete your mission. Did, we did I just hit myself with a rock in the face? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. This has been a barrel of laughs, hasn't it? Anyway, sorry for all the hazing. You're a pretty tough cookie. We only lost two people during this exercise. That's about on par with how it usually goes. I guess you can join the resistance now. Congratulations. Speak to the doctor when you get in. He'll still about giving you another bacon cheeseburger. Step into the elevator to come join us in the home base. I'm concerned. Hmm. If they used to lose two people for tutorial, how the heck do they get more members? <laughs> slowly. Very, very slowly. So we have a few other things to let you know before we send you out on the suicide mission. A completely achievable mission of taking down the mayor. First, since you're new to the city, you should know that it's built in vertical layers, like a lasagna. Slums at the bottom, then the industrial area, then the... Well, I keep forgetting how to say that word. Po, yeah, the, the X is silent, I believe. Po Outdoors Park, Downtown, and Uptown at the top. The only way to get from one level to the next is through elevators. Second, in addition to your primary mission, we'll need you to do a bunch of other tasks for us. It'll be highlighted on your map like that generator you just blew up. By the way, thanks for that. Now <laughs> Barry is in the dark in the toilets. You need to finish your missions on the floor before you can travel to the next one. Third, resistant leaders like myself will help you out by sending you rewards for completing these missions. But that's about all we can do for you. We're less doers and more ID men. For example, it was my idea to send you out on this mission. So do me proud because there might be a promotion in it for me. Really? Fourth, as you may know, the mayor has banned chicken nuggets due to the fact that they once caused him a mild tummy ache. Chicken nuggets have since become a rare and precious commodity. If you can scrounge up some chicken nuggets, we can trade them for <laughs> things that can help you out. The doctor, thief, and soldier can brief you a bit more on the nugget situation. Somewhere in the distance, <laughs> a little blonde kid called Nugget screams out in rage and despair. Oh, <laughs> we spoke about him yesterday. <laughs> well, if you want to head into the city, the elevator is to the north. Good luck to you, long rogue. And yeah, I think at this point it might be easier to just jump in and see the <laughs> what the hell we had happen. Let's see, Lazarus. See, I have yet to decide on uh, dinner. I'm thinking fast food with chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, you can choose from a bunch of classes, most of which need to be unlocked. Uh, you can even okay create character. Okay, uh, yeah. we have Slum Dweller. E each of these have their own traits, starting items and stats. Let's see, Gangster, Crepe, Thief, 
See, sticky gloves stand behind your victim and use this to steal from your, their pocket like the sticky bandit you are. <laughs> uh, hacker. <laughs> Remote nearly hack any computer like the lead hacks where you are. You can move while hacking to avoid detection. 50% chance of causing an alarm. Okay. Uh, let's actually go with them. I do believe you you can get up to quite some shenanigans as well any character, but technological characters more than ever. Let's see. Attack, special, toolbar. Always nice to have stuff like that readily available. Hmm. Oh dear. The interesting game so far we have, but only one I feel like is a solid yes for streaming. Yeah. Let's see, we need to Emails. kill the bartender and operate three switches in the building over here. Wait, I'm gonna kill the bartender. Security cameras. Security cameras, you, well, you know what to do with those. The money in the trash can, okay, and the banana. Uh, yeah, that's some heavy duty <laughs> security, huh? Why is the fire spewer? Is it an expensive type of good? Uh. Okay, you can hire characters for protection or sets. Let's take some more money. Let's oh, see. We can... we can hack that. Let's see. Turn off security. Open locked doors. Uh. Release the gas, which causes them to flee. And done. Are they running towards me or no, they're just running outside. Okay, once the gas is gone, they run back in. So, okay, it almost killed them. Wait, what happens to you turn on the fire again? Yep, someone noticed that we were screwing with that we're screwing with it. Okay, we can't we can't start it again. Probably for the best. Oh, it's no longer poisonous in here. That's good. Yeah. So yeah, release gas is a one-time thing. I do believe you can get upgrades and such. There, give me that. That'll improve on your abilities. Uh, let's see, there's no need to destroy that generator. Plus, we only have, well, melee weapons, so we'd blow it up in our face anyways. Yep. Okay, mission complete, and we got a freeze ray. Okay. Sneak around you for some more cash. Actually, there. Give me that. Okay, that did take some durability from that. Now, we just need to neutralize the bartender. Hmm, wait. Can we just use the freeze ray on him? Uh, okay, I'll I'll have a bartender on the rocks. Uh, because on the rocks means with ice. Weirdly enough. Let's see. Can I destroy the camera? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. This game has a lot of uh, could I <laughs> moments. So you, you really need to experiment around with things. There's a lot of this area is still over here that we can probably fuck around with. Uh, there's a safe, for example. There's a shop. Yep. We can't screw with the air con infiltration. Uh, don't have anything to put in there. Yeah, also, would you not be a resistant fighter, not a robber? <laughs> uh, in this game, there's not much of a difference. Let's see, drug dealer. Yeah. Point taken. Let's see, there's no computer game... to hack in. I gotta be so, uh, honest, this game is not clicking with me. Like, it's not bad, just missing the click, if you get what I mean. Yeah. There. Save combination, okay. 
point. Use combination and bulletproof fast, okay. But yeah, this is a game that you need to get into by just playing it a ton for all the fuckery that can happen. Like, this is going pretty mild so far, but you can set up entire chains of events of introducing hostile factions to each other or just throwing shit into elf air filtration devices to lure, you know, to force people out so you can do stuff. Did okay. you say elf accidentally there? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, boy, you leveled up. Select a new trait for your character. Let's see. Walls force nightmare. Easier to knock people through walls. Okay. Nimble fingers. You're doing something. Bar fills much more quickly. GP, yes. All map markers are filled at the beginning of the level. Okay. Uh, let's do that just to see what the fuck that does. So, yeah. Th this is very much a rogue light. So, just a fuck ton of cut uh, randomization and such. Let's see, can I just sneak past you? Yep. Oh, right, no need wait to open it. Nah. There we go. Give me that. And blueprints. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Three missions here. Destroy a crate. Retrieve a tooth. Okay. Neutralize some folks. I think it's uh, our time's up. Let's see, we are at uh, 5 p.m., yes. And the, the timer still has seven minutes on it, but I think we get the general gist of this game. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, a good game, but so much freaking randomization that... Uh, yeah, <laughs> just wacky fucking shit like that. What the heck? Okay. But yeah, also a good game. Not too sure how good it would be for streaming because I don't actually know it too well either. I've never gotten to the end of it. But I know that uh, Kikoskia streams it occasionally. But yeah, for now... Uh, <clears throat> Steam World Quest, that's going to be a yes, huh? Big yes, and the other ones as well, while we are at it. Says, I do think yeah. I was around... Yeah. You remember playing them, and I don't seem to because I was not a co-host at that point. <laughs> well, that, that, which means that, well, I'll know what is going to happen. It'll be, well, mostly fresh for you. Yeah. Strange Brigades would be nice for some co-op stuff every now and then, but I'd probably need to set up my second computer to actually handle the streaming. <clears throat> So that, uh, yeah, it can focus on keeping that up this, <laughs> at a decent pace instead of going stop motion. Streets of Rage 4, also a good game, but not our style, no, not, not, not my style. There is story and such, but I'm just not good with beat em up games. And Streets yeah. of Rogue, a similar good game, but probably too random. And there is a story sort of but it's mostly start it's mostly uh mario go save the king uh, the princess stuff <clears throat> oh dear so yeah one yes uh two no's and a maybe uh, or ma multiplayer maybe okay <clears throat> yeah. then before we go end the stream though let's go look for someone to raid so browser change window Twitch, live, and let's see, who are online? We have Dr. Miss on the stream. <laughs> they really are just streaming every single bloody day, it seems, huh? <clears throat> yeah. Next, we have Redacted Cats, who is playing Alundra. So, Walrus with Valheim. Moonrise is playing Jackbox Party Packs. Okay. Siri Pop is playing Sonic Adventure DX. Okay. And then we have WBPL playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect is another series I do want to stream eventually, but I'm unsure about Andromeda because that game had a rough fucking launch to the point that even I gave up on it, and I'm a big freaking Mass Effect fan. Yeah. Um, mm. But I have heard that it plays a lot better, or is supposed to play a lot better now. Yeah, look, my question is with Mass Effect first to stream is, it's a damn long game. True. 
And then we have Puffle Cakey and Horatius the Dwarf, who are both just chatting. Uh, no psychology open night with Horatius today, it seems. Okay, who would you suggest to raid? Or do we have any suggestions in chat? You'd be surprised what I will pick. Song and Adventures DX. <laughs> yeah, then we can compare just how different things are between the Dreamcast version and the quote-unquote <laughs> re-released version. Okay. Oh, uh, that's the one. Yeah. Like, for some reason, apparently with that game, every re-release of it gets worse. Uh, okay, they're playing as Gamma. And apparently, only eight emblems. I guess they must have jumped the Gamma the moment they could. <laughs> they just finished with Gamma. Oh, it's a, it's a randomizer. That explains. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Theory Pop it is, then. Like, I'd like to raid uh, Moonrise back, but... Yeah, I, I personally don't think Jackbox is too interesting. Like, I've played it a few times with people, but... Yeah, for me, it's just been mostly... Uh, random guessing and bullshit. Yeah, Anyways, you need the right kind of name. people for making fun uh, to stream. And also... Is one of these if he's weird to raid? Yeah. Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone else who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Lazarus. Thank you, Marco. And have we any lurkers? We had Let's Ruhen, see. Rehen, Rehen person earlier. Uh, yeah, them, them as well. Thank you as well. <laughs> Sorry for forgetting. <laughs> and yeah, it seems we have at least one possible lurker. Uh, I will check that name against a list of known bots. Uh, so sorry if you aren't a bot. If you are, but then you don't have the mental capacity to be offended anyways. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. And also, raid and paste. <laughs> yeah, because I copied the name because I don't trust my... <laughs> just quickly type someone's name. Still, raid and paste. <laughs> The line. <laughs> it's just, super, but it's a bit wicked. Anyways, in about three hours, a bit less than that, we will either be playing more Cleo, a pirate's tale, or we will have a return finally to Hard Space Shipbreaker. I put up a little poll to ask what everyone on the server thought, and it ended up in a 50 50 case of one vote for each. <laughs> wait, 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 I haven't voted yet. <laughs> Okay, but we'll see how that goes. If need be, I'll just I'll just flip a freaking coin. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I do want I do want to play both games on stream. Well, yes, okay. and my vote will be the final vote needed then. <laughs> okay, for now though, uh, let's get that raid started. And yeah, the, I really should see if there is some way to stop. Uh, actually, I. There is one easy way to stop this from happening. I can just uh, have the bar be always up and just have everything on screen adjusted a little bit. But yeah, just I, I'm talking about the fact that the, the taskbar pops up in the corner there whenever I move the mouse down, but oh well. <clears throat> uh, okay, there slash rate theory pop. Let's get that rate started. Oh, apparently they've got rates blocked at the moment. Um, Moonrise after all, then? Well, I guess. Okay. There. Raid. Come on, back to the channel. Okay, slash raid and paste. Is this going to get blocked? Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Yep, and that's the 25-minute that's the timer going off, finally. <laughs> oh dear. Be safe for the one and watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, just random rogues on the street. Oh, gods.